Here we have a form from a realtor which we will use to examine filling out the forms, signing it, and printing it with the signature. This is easily done with the free Acrobat Reader using the sign tools that are right on the side here. Now you'll notice this has forms built right into it, it's sophisticated that way. You can click on any place and immediately start typing, so clients will have no problem filling out this form. It's right in the tools. We'll skip right to the bottom now and note the signature panel doesn't have clickable forms. To sign this, they can use their mouse and this Place Signature tab. I'm going to click Change Save to Signature because I already have a signature file in mine. And you'll see they can choose to type it or draw it or use an image. So to save them some effort, you'll tell them to draw it using a mouse. And I have a stylus, so this is a little easier. They can simply draw their signature in that area. Click Accept. Now, do you see how my pointer is turned into a signature? And I can click to place it. It has nice transparency, so you can see the lines underneath it. Now, the date and time field, doesn't it doesn't have a blue field, so they can click the Add Text right here. Click on the document and add the date. Simple as that. If they don't like the, uh, the typo there, they can re-enter by clicking and change the letter or the date. This is the properties box that pops up automatically where you can change the size of the text and the type of print, etc. I'm going to leave it as is, so I'll just close that. Now I'd like to print this out. Click the print button to make sure that I get everything they have filled in and the signature they have applied on top. I'm going to make sure that we've selected document and markups from what to print and then simply click print. If they need to initial things, I'm st stepping back, if they need to initial things, they can place initials on the document. Those can be typed or drawn, same as before. I will show you some initials here. That really is what my initials look like. It's quite fancy. They can place the initials large like that and resize them. Or they can click and drag anywhere they are going to need initials. Click, drag, and that makes them a specific size. Click to demonstrate again. Place initials. And click and drag. Oh, it's not doing it. Here we go. And click and drag to any size I want.